Social media is a double-edged sword, and for 9 out of 10 people, it is an absolute waste of time. I've been around since the dawn of socials, since they first started popping up left, right and center. And this is how I start to remember how old I actually am. I've been around from Bebo days, from Yahoo, from MSN, and from the beginning of Facebook, when socials were just that, social media platforms and nothing more. Just a way for you to connect to your friends, to your family, and potentially expand slightly past the scope of what was previously impossible, where you could connect to your friends of your friends, your family friends, and so forth. Now, ever since that point in time, I've seen the ups, the downs, and everything you can possibly see on social media over the last 20 years. I was there when Instagram first started, Facebook first started, TikTok first started, Snapchat first started. I believe I was also there when Pinterest first started. I was also there from when YouTube first started. I was only a consumer on YouTube up until recently from the last year, year and a half, but I was there making content on Instagram and on TikTok when those two platforms first came out. Now, I never really was active on Facebook. I always genuinely thought that was a big waste of time because even back then and still to now, it's just a meme platform. People are just, people just go on to waste time. Now let's talk about some decent social media platforms that are actually genuinely used. Instagram, for example, when it first came out, the system, the algorithm, the strategy behind it was new to world and it worked back then up until about five to seven years ago when they started to implement more and more and more distractions, more and more time sinks and started to become their everything platform, trying to get your time and attention for more hours per day. Now again, back then it just used to be a basic photo platform where you used to share your photos and basically just used to be a photo reel of you and your life. However, slowly and slowly over time, we started to see the true effects that social media can have on people. How they can connect, but also isolate us at the same time. How they can create feelings of loneliness. How they can create feelings of inadequacy when you begin to compare to people's lives. However, what we tend to forget is that they are simply a highlight reel of people's best curated moments. The 99.99% of time that people aren't showcasing on socials is what you don't see. You see the 0.1% of times that are perfectly curated. Another distinction I can make about social media platforms was one of the reasons I initially started posting back in 2012 and initially started posting when TikTok first started coming out. Believe it or not, I used to make like 45 pieces of short form content across five social media platforms consistently. I did that for months and months and months. And back in the beginning of Instagram days, I used to pay photographers and videographers to promote my personal brand, to promote my business. Because if you aren't the creator, you are the consumer. Nine out of 10 people are consumers. And those consumers waste their time. They chase the dopamine hit. Those consumers are simply distracted, whereas the creators are productive. But the double-edged sword of that is creators are validation seekers and consumers seek validation. Now, these social media platforms also draw a fine line between addiction, entertainment, and what is straight up systematic habits that you don't even know you created. For example, when you see your notification bell ping on your home screen, so-and-so has responded to you, so-and-so has DM'd you, it immediately stops what you are doing, whether that be productive or not productive, and shifts your attention to that social media platform. I must respond to this person. I must respond to this DM. Everything is time sensitive when it comes to social media. Now, I'm gonna shift perspectives for a bit. Over the years, what I've also noticed is the slow and gradual increase of sexualization on all platforms, especially Snapchat, but also Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, which is the new X, so on and so on. Everything has become sexualized, all because of one social media network, not really a platform, a network called 
OnlyFans. The root of all the problems. And he can't convince me otherwise. All other social media platforms have become infected, infected literally like a parasite from all those models, models coming from that social media network, trying to promote their services on every other social media platform because it's a quick buck. It's a quick way for them to make money. Let's be realistic. They promote their soft porn strategies and it's literally got to the point where you can't possibly avoid it. Now, that is an issue for a number of reasons. First, it really shows the epidemic that men have currently found themselves in, especially the loneliness epidemic. The fact and the reason that that platform has made billions of dollars is a statement and a testament to where we are right now in the world, where the world has come to essentially. Don't you begin to think for a second that people under the age of 18 aren't accessing this crap. And don't you begin to think for a second that the brains of people under the age of 18 accessing social media haven't already rotted their brains, haven't already created the systematic behaviors that I've been discussing throughout this video. So all in all, ladies and gentlemen, here is the quick summary over the last 10 to 20 years on social media. It used to be social media platforms. It is now nothing but sexualization. It is now nothing but a dopamine hit. It is now nothing but a quick escape from reality. The majority of people, 9 out of 10, using social media are using it because they are bored, they have no goals, they have nothing else to do, they are addicted, they need to get off, they need to prioritize themselves and progress to something that is actually beneficial for them. Kids need to get the hell off social media. The recent statistic of 90% of their spare time spent on screens, i.e. phones, i.e. TikTok, i.e. short form content, rotting their brains is absolutely and genuinely sad. All of this equals compulsive usage patterns, which increases anxiety, depression, isolation, loneliness, and the list goes on. I feel at this point, I've sort of made my point. And mind you, I myself, over the last six to 12 months, have completely quit all social media platforms. I'll make a video on the benefits that I've seen personally in a separate video. But the long story short is outside of posting on Meta, so business Meta, to promote my business, or outside of posting a new photo or thumbnail to show that I've posted a new video on YouTube, I don't touch them whatsoever. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you learned something from today's video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and if you wanna debate me down in the comments below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.